And now, let us all say the Apostles' Creed, as contained in the New Revised Version of the New Revised Version of the Book of Common Prayer, or meditation, it's the same thing, really. I believe in God. I, I believe, believe in God, the Father Almighty, or at least it stands to reason there has to be some sort of greater power, you know, like electricity sort of thing. And in Jesus Christ, who was obviously a fantastic bloke, and it's been proved historically that he actually did exist around that time, actually, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary. No, don't laugh. It could happen. After all, they can do it in a test tube these days. I mean, that proves it, doesn't it? The third day he rose again from the dead, a sort of reincarnation, if you like. Did you see that program on BBC Two? I believe in the Holy Ghost, telepathy, flying saucers, black magic. There must be something in astrology, gay liberation, the Loch Ness Monster, the Abominable Snowman, the Surrey Panther, copper bracelets for rheumatism, levitation, water divining, poltergeists, and the life everlasting. That is, if the bloody Russians don't invade Poland. Amen. It's nice to see you all here. <laughs> now, as the more perceptive of you probably realized by now, this is hell. <laughs> and I am the devil. Good evening. Uh, but you can call me Toby, if you like. We, we try to keep things informal here, as well as infernal. Uh, um, that's just a little joke of mine. <laughs> I tell it every time. Now, you're all here for eternity. Ooh, which I hardly need tell you is a heck of a long time. Um, so you'll all get to know each other pretty well by the end. But for now, I'm going to have to split you up into groups. Will you stop screaming? <laughs> Thank you. Now, murderers. Murderers, over here, please. Thank you. Uh, looters and pillagers over here, thieves, if you could join them, and lawyers, if you're in that one. <laughs> uh, fornicators, if you could step forward. My God, there are a lot of you. Uh, could I split you up into adulterers and the rest? Male adulterers, if you could just form a line in front of that small guillotine in the corner there. <laughs> The French, are you here? Okay. If you'd just like to come down here with the Germans, that would be lovely. I'm sure you'll have plenty to talk about. Okay, um, atheists. Atheists, over here, please. You must be feeling a right bunch of nitwits. <laughs> And finally, Christians. Christians? Ah, yes, I'm sorry. I'm afraid the Jews were right. <laughs> if you could come down there, that would be really kind. Thank you. Okay. Right. Well, are there any questions? Yes. No, I'm afraid we don't have any toilets. Um, if you'd read your Bible, you might have seen that it was damnation without relief. <laughs> So if you didn't go before you came, then I'm afraid you're not going to enjoy yourself very much. <laughs> but then I believe that's the idea. Okay, well, it's over to you, Adolf. And I'll uh, catch you all later at the barbecue. Bye. <laughs> On 
the third day there was a marriage in Cana of Galilee. And it came to pass that all the wine was drunk. And the mother of Jesus said unto the Lord, They have no more wine. And Jesus said unto the servants, Fill six water pots with water. And they did so. And when the steward of the feast did taste of the water from the pots, it had become wine. And they knew not whence it had come. But the servants did know. And they applauded loudly in the kitchen. <laughs> And they said unto the Lord, How the hell did you do that? <laughs> and inquired of him, Do you do children's parties? <laughs> and the Lord said, No. <laughs> but the servants did press him, saying, Go on, give us another one. <laughs> And so he brought forth a carrot and said, Behold this, for it is a carrot. And all about him knew that it was so, for it was orange with a green top. And he did place a large red cloth over the carrot and then removed it. And lo, he held in his hand a white rabbit. And all were amazed and said, this guy is really good. He should turn professional. And they brought him on a stretcher, a man who was sick of the palsy. And they cried unto him, Maestro, this man is sick of the palsy. And the Lord said, if I had to spend my whole life on a stretcher, I'd be pretty sick of the palsy too. And they were filled with joy and cried out, Lord, thy one-liners are as good as thy tricks. Thou art indeed an all-round family entertainer. <laughs> and there came unto him a woman called Mary, who had seen the Lord and believed. And Jesus said unto her, Put on a tutu <laughs> and lie down in this box. And then took he forth a saw and cleft her in twain. And there was much wailing and gnashing of teeth. But Jesus said, O oh, ye of little faith. And he threw open the box, and lo, Mary was whole. And the crowd went absolutely bananas. And Jesus and Mary took a big bow. And he said unto her, From now on you shall be known as Sharon. For that is a good name for an assistant. And the people said, we've never seen anything like this. This is great. You must be the son of God. But the Lord said, no, I am he who comes before. And they were sore amazed and said, then master, how shall we know the true Lord? And Jesus said, by his name shall ye know him. And he shall have a very religious name. And he shall be called Paul, and Daniel shall he be called. Paul Daniels, they cried. And the Lord said, yes, something like that. Here ends the lesson.